Welcome boys to Total War Attila. We're going to be starting a brand new campaign, the last Roman campaign, and we're going to be doing the Roman Expedition, one of the hardest campaigns in Total War. Oh yeah, this was when Total War was goaded, baby. a finer man for the task. Retake the former Western Roman Empire from the barbarians. Deliver it to our beloved emperor on a plate. These games should be in your honor. Hmm. When I heard Justinian had you in mind, I can't say I was surprised. After all, you were his uncle's favorite bodyguard. Not to mention your accomplishments at the Battle of Dara. But the way you suppressed the riots in Nika. of the great commanders and your loyalty is clearly above question however the ruins of rome are a wild and unpredictable place a lot can happen out of reach of these fragrant walls a man might look about him and think perhaps that it is all rightfully his <laughs> Oh, shoot! Good luck, Belisarius. Oh my god, absolutely insane! This is truly the, the goat of total, modern Total War. Uh, not all of Total War, but like, yeah. The, <laughs> Total War till it just slapped so hard, bro. <laughs> so good. Okay. Alrighty then. Whew. The Roman Expedition. Survive until 535 and we get two grand. Very nice. So, we've got uh, Belisarius right here, who is our faction leader. Uh, the Brave Companions are over here. And then we have a spy over this way. Uh, so, essentially, we are it. This is all we have. Um, we're allied, of course. Uh, with the Western Roman Empire over this way. Uh, sorry, just the Roman Empire. But that's crumbling, obviously. That's completely falling apart. Um, there's nothing we can do about that. So we need to get to work. What is very cool about this is that uh, these guys have Ready their own like settlements basically inside of their parties. Uh, so there's quite a bit you can do, uh, but you need to be encamped in order to build these things. And I don't particularly want to be encamped at this point in time, um, but I will go ahead and snag our boys a couple more units here, um, just because we definitely need to build that army up a little bit more. And there are mines over here, so I'm going to go try and take Sufetula uh, as early as possible here. Um, and I don't think we'll experience too much resistance from these guys off the rip, but maybe we will. I did not mean to put our spy in the water. I think I misclicked when I was uh, messing around. Okay, we can research technologies, of course, as well. Um, and we're probably going to go ahead and go with the codification of laws. I like to go civic first in most of these campaigns. Um, so that's definitely what we're going to be doing there. And yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and burn a turn here right off the bat because we really don't have a ton to do. We basically just have two armies. Okay, Hilderic executed. Nice, okay, sounds great. Okay, so we're starting to lose soldiers over here. We need to push on. And this is like the easiest battle in the world. So obviously we're just gonna go ahead and be aggressive here, take that. I don't care, we're auto-resolving. I just don't want to waste my time with stupid battles like that, even though I could probably do better. Um, so we're going to go ahead and reclaim it for Rome right there, instead of going ahead and uh, putting it into independence, because 
that's a way worse idea. We'll go ahead and go into encampment stance here. We've got a couple of bonuses we can get. Let's go ahead and go with wealth and integrity there. We definitely want to make sure our economy is solid. That is so important for us. So now that we're encamped, we can go ahead and build grain storage, meat storage, uh, or basically any of these things, which is pretty cool. And an important thing to remember is keeping our integrity high for these armies. Right now, it is not very good. That's going to be a problem later on. Um, and building certain things will, of course, diminish our integrity by quite a bit. And we really don't want that. So this is going to consume 10 food, but it's going to give us wealth as well as integrity for officers' tents. I'm going to build it because that's probably a good plan right there. Um, on top of that, do we want to recruit any units? Um, horse archers could be kind of cool to have. I'll get some horse archers and another unit of standard archers, I think, over there. But then uh, from then on, we want to chill on that. Let's go over to Thedurus over this way and get our spy over here we don't really have any armies over here we could probably go for the two for one and, and just try and get a really really quick start to this thing and yeah they've got nothing here let's just auto resolve this be aggressive there we go baby that's two settlements reclaimed for rome very very quickly but we got to remember that these guys are going to be coming back to hit us very soon more than likely again lost way more than we should have uh which is not great but i also really don't want to play these really stupid stupid battles all right we're going with the wealth one i'm gonna push you a further up this way um and then we can put you guys into encampment right there Okay, good stuff. That is two settlements taken um, with much more to go. Let's see what happens here uh, because the Vandalic Kingdom is pretty vast right now. And we have not experienced a single one of their armies, so we don't really know what they're fielding at the moment. It's been an extremely long time since I've actually played this campaign, by the way. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and push you boys up this way. So... Wait, what is their main settlement for this? It is going to be Hedramentum, which is up that way. Okay, so we should probably push you guys a little bit further north this way to reconnect with the Brave Companions. You can get, go ahead and encamp there because that improves our um, healing rate. And we're not going to order any more units right now just because we don't want to decrease our treasury too much or else we'll get screwed so fast. Hey, there we go. There's our Imperium. Nice. Going up. We leveled up, baby. All right, so these guys should be all Gucci. Yes, they are. Good, sir. Going to no stance. We'll send our spy forward first. All right, they do have a little bit of an army here. Let's check around here. Okay, no army up there. That's good. But they probably do have reinforcing armies not too far away. Let's go ahead and send our king this way. And we'll spend one additional turn. Make haste, men over here in encampment stance Ready for orders. because we want to make sure we're making our money and then we'll go siege together right there all right so uh minus three percent construction cost for main settlement buildings is pretty big for us actually i'm gonna go for that we'll start working on uh, military stuff fairly soon after but not not too quickly um, can we do any buildings? Uh, we can go ahead and get this, but... Ooh. That's not... Uh, it's not the greatest. It's going to decrease integrity and tax rate, but it'll give us wealth from subsidence and growth. And it'll let us upgrade other buildings, too. Uh, maybe we wait. Maybe we wait on that. Oh, Vandilla Kingdom is getting out. Okay, maybe they're trying to muster a bit of a bigger force. All right, well, that's good for us. I will gladly take that. Go into no stance. We're going to go ahead and hit them here. And they will have a larger um, yeah, force here. They have a small navy. Nothing too crazy. We'll go ahead and get... Oh, well... Yeah, just some light siege towers for now. And then we're also going to, of course, go ahead and send up the Brave Companions as well uh, to join in the siege. 
Yes, sir. All right, that's very good, but we're going to need them to be... Can they aid when encamped? I think so, but the problem is... Uh, that we are not currently going to be... We're going to be in the negatives for our money if we're not encamped. So this siege will cost us a little bit. So this will give us wealth from industry plus one unit experience for all recruits, which is a really big deal, actually. But this will give us food and wealth. Um, we're actually okay on food, so I'm going to go with the workshop tent because getting plus one experience for all recruits is kind of a big deal. All right, there's our spy moving out just a little bit more. Let's see if they come to try and counter the siege. They're thinking they might do it. Let's see. Spending a long time on their turn, so they might be moving bigger armies out farther away. Aha! Yes, they do have a very large army heading to one of the places we just took. Um, ooh, but the Romans are sending a force by a, the sea, you saw right there. That's nice for us. Okay, they tried to do a little shenanigans over here with their spy. Can we try and go uh, assassinate him real quick? Oh, we can only deceive. Oh, we'll give it a try. It'd be good to rank up our spy a little bit. Let's see if this works. Come on, baby. Big money. Uh, failure. Sag. That's okay. That's all right. All right. This might be our big first battle in this thing. We'll go ahead and fight it. All right. So we'll get reinforced here, which is nice. We're going to try and slip in right here where they've got no towers, essentially, um, with some of our infantry. And then we'll go ahead and... Get these guys ready to move up as well. We've got our triple archers here. We can go ahead and send them forward to take those guys on. Um, and then we've also got our horse archers who can do the same thing here. Um, yeah, do rapid advance. Get up there quick. Oh! Hello! All right, we're going to move our cavalry over this way very, very quickly, including our boy, uh, Belisarius, to try and take these guys out wicked fast here get in there boys get in there that's beautiful that they brought those guys in outside the walls they have landing points in the walls i don't know why they were so stupid as to do that but it is what it is i'll take it i'll take it all right all right so here comes our boys beautiful 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 just get in there they, they will get slaughtered there's Almost zero chance they actually do anything there. Um, our general might not make it. I'm just trying to bring him up to maybe get him some rank. Uh, we want him to start becoming a super unit on the battlefield, but uh, it looks like he probably won't make it here in time to actually get any of these kills. That's okay. All right. Well, good stuff. That's very, very easy for us right there. Really, really like that. Our archers are up here firing at these guys, the Germanic Bond. Come on, boys! Get some kills! Get some kills! God, what, what a bunch of idiots right here. <laughs> Why wouldn't they bring them into the interior defenses? That's such goofy goober nonsense. Alright, well, you guys might as well finish off that unit, get a little bit extra experience. We're bringing up our additional cavalry over here. Not that it really matters. Uh, because we need these puppies getting on in here. Yes, sir. Alright. It's really nice that these guys aren't getting shot at at all. They didn't even bring their archers over. Not really doing a crazy amount of damage on that Germanic, Germanic band, though. Uh, which, eh, kind of sucks, but that's okay. That's quite all right. All right. I might go for shots on those guys now. Uh, that our boys are at the wall. Beautiful. I'll start bringing up... Let's just bring up the swordsman. I'll just bring up the swordsman here. And we'll start getting in here as well. Okay, should we try and tag team against these uh, Axemen? Because our guys are unloading and getting kind of hit hard. So that might be a bit of a good idea. Um, everyone just run. Everyone run. If you're not running, you're not gunning, baby. All right, we'll bring our general unit and his cab back over this way. Beautiful. And then we will pause our uh, spearmen over this way. Okay, so these guys will come in, hit these German band from the side. Very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. All right, and we'll start trying to get these guys up here too. Okay, cool. So these guys are charging in the side there. This is just a very simple battle for us. I can't believe they abandoned their defenses. This would have been such a more difficult... Oh, some of the archers decided to go up. Oh, what a bunch of idiots. I did not intend for you guys to do that. I wanted you to shoot them from afar, believe it or not. 
whatever. They're just dumb. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys move this way, please. Beautiful. Germanic bands getting toasted. Yeah, baby. Yeah, they, they could have had such an easy victory against us here, but instead they decided to dip. Eh, not victory, but they would have gotten a lot more kills on us uh, if they hadn't dipped all their units out. So, there's that. Okay, move over that way. I'm still getting somewhat used to the controls of Attila again. I haven't played in a minute, boys. I have not played in a minute. Alright, there we go. Getting some good shots in there. Recently, I've been playing more Total War Shogun, so... <laughs> It's a little bit of a learning curve again. Look at that. They're running for us. Beautiful. That was a waste of their units right there, honestly. That, that made them take some damage. All right. We're obviously going to go for those archers now. We'll try and soften them up a little bit with those guys there first. Right, get in there, boys. Go, go, go. I don't know why these archers are coming up. <sighs> Whatever. Fine. Just come up, but <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> That's really, really dumb. All right, these guys will get some shots in here and hopefully get a few kills. They're... It's not even worth it, man. They're just going to get picked off. It's it's not worth it. Let's just send our... Send the infantry in. Not worth it. That's just goofy. That's just goofy. Okay. These guys are kind of derping a little bit here. Come on, everyone join the fray. Join the fray. There we go. All right, we've pretty much got this in the bag, I would say, but let's not get too cocky here. We just need to kill those spearmen there, kill these archers over here. The archers are getting supported by uh, their tower there, and that's why we're losing so many troops over this way. We have to remember this is a bit more of a major settlement, so they are going to take less losses and, and do a little bit better. Ooh, fire into those skirmishers. Fire into them, please, and we'll bring out another sword unit over this way to deal with them. Okay, good stuff, boys. Very nice. All right, uh, one of you guys, please go take that. Please go take that gate. Thank you. And the rest of y'all can move up this way. The general unit is pretty much ripe for the taking. Sadly, we only have swordsmen up here. Oh, wait, hold on. We can... Go ahead and send our cabin now because we took this gate. Very nice. All right, you guys just get on the wall because if we try and run you away, you're going to get sniped out by more of those archers. I don't really want that to happen. All right, these guys are taking on these fellas. Beautiful. Here comes our melee infantry over here. Head on up there. You're going to get involved with the general unit here. It's going to be slightly messy for you. I will tell you that right now. This might be a little bit messy. You for sure will take some losses, but let's see if they allow us to just do this. Oh, shoot. They're just going to let us in to the capture point. Okay. We'll still send our cab in that way. All right, these guys broke. Okay, maybe... Oh, this unit's really damaged. I was going to say, maybe we could flank with these guys. But no, we just need to let them chill. We'll take this. And we'll just then wait for our cab, I guess. Yeah, get the get the cab in here. Oh, 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 oh. They're gonna come in. They're coming in, baby. Heck yeah. Alright, get our cab up here then. Beautiful. Beautiful, boys. Alright, this is a matter of time. Let's just finish this off then. And there we have it. There's the W right there. Beautiful. Uh, so we did take some actually fairly heavy losses there. I'm not too concerned about that just because of the fact that it is a larger settlement. The towers alone are easily able to get like 200 kills in a battle. Um, and there was definitely some uh-ohs that we made and committed, but overall not too bad. And it's just one army uh, that was really, really hammered there. So it's not too bad. All right. It's up to Rome <laughs> to keep these settlements happy. Okay? That is very important. Okay, let's get uh, some increased integrity there and replenishment. Yeah, we'll split it between the two of those. Sounds good to me. All right, these boys, we will send... Okay, they're sending an army down to Thys... 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 
<laughs> however the hell you pronounce it. All right, so we'll send an army that way, and then this army here. Oh, we're in encampment. Okay, that's why. All right, smooth stance. Let's push you. So they're they're gonna take Safatula. Like for sure, for sure. I'd like to bait this army into attacking our main army here, and I bet they would do that. I bet you they do that. So we'll do that, and then over here, we'll get ready to push further inward, because I think our main man army can probably handle these guys. Ooh, they brought another army. They're trying to surround our companions. Ooh, they brought another army. Bro, what? What? All right, retreat. And fall back. They might hit us with two of them still, but we can at least do a stand against two against versus three. Okay, they were they were hiding some heat back there. Whew. And they're going to go capture that, like, very, very easily. That's fine. Okay, well, this just got a little hairy. Hmm. Okay. Uh, my husband, I hear you. We're going to refuse because we don't want our men to think we're weak. Okay. Hmm. We need to fall back here to get Roman help, basically. We'll encamp as well. Okay. Now, we need to make some investments in soldiers. We'll get some more spearmen. And, and that's all I'm actually going to do with that army for now. Okay. Now, over here, our main man. If we move this way, we might be able to bait them into attacking us with just that army. Because this, this army has no chance of reaching us over here. So encamp there, and then we shall purchase... Exploratos. That seems good. And then maybe a little spear cav. I think that's good. I think that's good. And we're encamped in both, which is nice. Let's go try and deceive this agent again. <sighs> okay, failure again. Yikes. But we got an upgrade for him, which is what we kind of want. Um... Uh, da, da, da. Minus twenty five percent movement range. If we misdirect armies, that could come in handy. Minus twenty percent chance of being detected if we infiltrate. Hmm. Let's go wealth for local province. That that could actually be pretty helpful too. All right, not bad. So our armies are split, but I'm not too concerned. All right, we should get aid from the Romans, right? Because they're our allies? Yes, we do. They're very beat up. What force did you send us? Dear God, they're giving us really bad odds here. They're giving us horrendous odds. I'm worried if I retreat us back, they might just clean sweep us. We're going to try this, I think. We're going to give it a go. There is nowhere for us to hide our cavalry. Yikes. Okay. Um, we're going to try the corner camp strat here. And it's really a desperate measures type of a beat here. Don't get me wrong. I am embarrassed having to do this this early in the campaign. But it is a tough campaign. It is tough. Okay, so they're going to send this forward. They've got these troops coming in. We've got decent cavalry, which is nice. We'll walk them that way. All right, here comes our allies. We're not allowed to command them. I just hope they choose to play defense. It looks like they might, which is good. Okay. All right, that we can work with this. We can certainly work with this. Um... We're going to go ahead and stationary Testudo and do it again with our boys here. But we want them to be kind of pressed against each other to make this as effective as possible. 
Yeah, we want to really squeeze them against those lines. Do that. You need to take your men. Wait, that turns skirmish on. We want skirmish off. Okay, cool. Skirmish is off by default. We like that. We want to loosen up our general because if he gets killed, that's a big uh-oh. All right, that looks good. That's looking good to me. All right, they're going to dispatch a few spear units towards us this way. I don't love that, but it's not the end of the world. If they would just not bring these guys, we could totally take all of this on by ourselves. But the fact that they're backing it up with a few units there is definitely a yikes to me. So this is light melee cab, and this is also light melee cab. So the lack of heavy, heavy melee cab is a concern. I feel like if we go in on these guys real quick right now, we actually stand a decent chance because we'll have our allies right there. And they only have one spear unit over here and just a lot of cavalry. It is heavy melee cavs, so that's a bit of a yikes. But basically the idea here is to maybe do a, a smidge of a hit and run on these guys if possible. It's a good spear throw. We charge in nicely. All right. Let's double stack this because they're going to continue moving on with those guys there, which is good. Okay, yeah, I think we can mess them up a little bit here with our cab, and hopefully our ally gets a little bit involved. They're, they're somewhat getting involved. That's good. Okay, if those spear units come in, we're in a lot more trouble. Yeah, our melee cab is getting messed up right here. Messed up big, 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 big time, but there's our extra units. No! All right, one of our units just broke right there. This cab unit is a beefcake, isn't it? All right, I don't like that spear coming in. No, get those spearmen out of here. Okay, good. We broke them. Run out of there. Run out of there. Get the heck out of there now. Move for those guys. Try and help our ally out a little bit, okay? That's all we can do. All right, we're actually winning over here now, which is good. All right, that's a little bit of a flank here. Okay, harassment campaign working somewhat. Our scout equites just got flanked now. I don't like that, but we kind of still have to lock in here. Ooh, they might be receiving some friendly fire, so I'm, I'm actually cool with that engagement right there. Yep, yep, there goes a few of our troops. It's okay, it's okay. There we go. All right, we knocked them out. Beautiful. All right, we're actually, we're getting some good kills here, I will say. All right, now that is a mistake on their part. A blunder. Oh, we killed a general. Just a general, but still, it's better than nothing. All right, these slingers out here, easy kill for us. Easy kill for our cav. Look at that. Yes. Connect big time with that. Connect big time. Get some kills. I'm going to bring the general out. Just really, really quickly. Because he's so, so close. I think that'll be good. Okay. Nice! They did duck in another cab unit, so it's a, it's a good thing we're going to bring our general out here. We're not going to put him in harm's way or anything like that, but I just want to give some aid for our guys here. Just real quick. Nice. That's good. That's uh, really, really good. And they have more missile units over here. We might be able to catch a few of them. We're not going to send our general in, though. That's for sure. All right, you know what? Flank these guys here instead, because their general unit's going to come in. So we don't want that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good. Okay, they kind of had the shield wall up, which is definitely a little bit more of a bummer for us. All right. Move our general in here. War cry there. No, no. All right. It's time to bring our general back. Time to bring the gen back, baby. All right. We lost our, our cavalry units. That's okay, though. We did do a number to them. That's for sure. Enemies have lost about 700 soldiers. That's good. That's good stuff. And our allies are just about donezo. So it is going to come down to our boys back here. Loose formation. We're going to snugly put you in there. All right, hey, allied archers still getting kills. I mean, these guys are flashing. If they target them, man, target them. No, don't run your troops. Keep firing. These guys are gonna die any second. Just, okay, whatever. <laughs> no point in yelling at the AI. 
It's just not going to help us. All right, our lines are solid here. Our lines are solid, and we can always withdraw our general if need be. I, I guess that's good. I guess that's good. And our guys are going to be fresh. Theirs are going to be... Yes, yeah, some of them are tired. Some are wavering. That's beautiful. Yes, their archers are firing a little bit more. I don't know why they're running them around so much. What is the Roman Empire doing? Yeah, you guys got slaughtered right there. Okay. All right, here we go. We'll use precision fire early, early on. Early on. Just because we don't know how long we're going to last here. We might as well use it and see if we can get a second one in at some point. Those Axemen might go down. It's fine. Our allies were a bunch of idiots anyway. Yes! Good. If we can stop these guys early on from even, like, clashing with us, that's that's really big. These guys are definitely going to hit us, though. I mean, they're, they're definitely going to hit us. That's okay, though. All right. We are getting fired at a lot. Don't love that for our lines, but it, it's okay for now. It's okay. They're kind of remaneuvering. I think they're trying to figure out, like, how they can hit us. Joke's on them. They can't really. Okay. Nice. They're hitting us over here. Go ahead and pop a, a defense buff for these guys early, early on. That way, maybe in two minutes, we have another one ready if we don't lose by then. <laughs> but that's a that's a good call, I think. Why don't we... Why don't we war cry here? Give them the old one-two war crop punch, baby. All right, and then they're just going to clash with our lines here. And we just have to hope that we hold, essentially. Uh, General's getting attacked now. Ugh, gross. Okay. Let's try and break the right side with our general. Kind of push in over there. Because if they're going to hit our general with tons of arrow fire, we might as well use him. So he doesn't just slowly die. <laughs> he can actually get involved a little bit. Oh, they are hardcore targeting our general. Like, hardcore, hardcore targeting. Yuck. Alright, you know what? We need to try and push out here big time. No! The left flank already failed. Yikes. That is such a yikes, man. Oh! This is a tough campaign, dog. This is rough. Come on. Come on, boys. Hold steady. Hold steady, boys. God, they just have so many units at the very start. It's it's gross. All right, send these guys back in. Do not break, my, my friends. Yeah, let's withdraw. Withdraw the remaining. Withdraw the remaining. There's no point in losing more. But they might just uh, gun us down later. Okay, so they took 1,300 losses. They have 50, uh, about 1,600 remaining. We have about 500 remaining. So we did get beat. Pretty bad. Oh, our general died. Okay. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right. Back it up, chair. Back it up. Let's see if they hit us again. They're not going to. That's big. All right. Now, they're coming for us over here. And actually, we have a much stronger force than I thought, man. Let's withdraw. Finding shelter. Okay, that was the worst place you could have withdrawn to. Well, we gotta fight this now. Okay, at least we have more to play with in this battle, which is very, very good. Okay, so we're gonna bring our units up like this. Back them up with swordsmen. And watch the flanks as well. Make sure the flanks are nice and solid for us there, baby. Okay, good stuff. Bring up the archers. And then, luckily, our general can kind of vibe out underneath there. Okay, so we've got various cav units available to us, which is quite nice. We can definitely run some flanks with that. And they have a lot of archers, so if we can catch a few archers off guard, that'd be, that'd be incredible. All right, they're kind of hunting our cav units a little bit. Interesting. No, they're pivoting. They're pivoting. Uh, I think we gotta turtle our boys. Alright, turtle. Turtle. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, they are, they are going heavy for our boys over here. Let's try and get a hit on that one on the end. And then peel off after. 
No, they're gonna run them. They're gonna run them away. Never mind. Okay, let's see here. They're going in with some heavy melee cavalry early, early on. Uh, we're gonna counter with our general, even. And we will scare and war cry because we want to just early, early destroy those guys. Oh, they hit us hard with their slingers. God, screw them, dude. God dang. Alright, this is not good combat to be in so early, man. This is wicked bad combat to be in so early. At least we're kind of running around their, their enemies back there. That's, that's certainly good for us. Ooh, they have warhounds. Alright, go for their slingers. We'll wrap these guys around. Alright. Bring our boy out. And then charge these guys. Get the downhill charge going, baby. That's fine. All is well. And these guys up the mountain there. Alright. Flash with them. We'll start charging these guys in. I want all out war right now. I want us to hit them super hard pretty much everywhere. Try and end them early. Alright, get up here and then curve into them. Nice! Nice little counter charge with our general right there. Alright, you guys come in the rear here. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. We're gonna send all of our cav units over that way. Alright, peel these guys back off, because what's the point of continuing that? War cry! Alright. Nice. Cavalry's in that mix now. Advanced speed. Good stuff. Alright. Broke that unit. Easy peasy. Alright, get these guys back involved. Alright, these folk are breaking. That's wicked good. Go after their general hard, man. Go after that Gen Gen, baby. Beautiful. That's really good for us. Alright, this is not good, though. In the slightest. Um, use precision shot with these guys and run them away, I guess, because that's not going well. Alright, nice. We killed that uh, unit. Pretty easy. That's good for us. Okay, those guys are gonna run. Yoikes. Yoikes, indeed. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Run our boys back here now. Our forces have found their courage. Back to the fight. Back to the fight, baby! Yes! Okay. That was huge. That was really, really big for us. We're gonna continue to pour fire into these guys. Let's go ahead and reform up here. All right, boys, get into positions. Get into your positions. All right, fire all across these troops right here. And our general is a little bit beat up. But he's not dead yet. No, sir. All right, we're going to need to bring in additional horse archers because our archers are kind of getting outmatched at the moment. Like, for sure. <laughs> for real, for real. You know what, let's... Let's go ahead and give chase, because our strength right now, uh, skirmish, our strength right now is our infantry, so we want to get a little bit more involved with them. I'll also send our general in. Okay, archers over that way. Yeah, so we need to ch charge two units at once to keep our general alive, essentially. That's the big idea. Yeah, yeah. So, otherwise they'll shoot at us. 
which is not good. All right, come around this way. Look at this. We're chasing these guys all over the place. It's incredible. All right. Send our additional cavalry units out here. We need them to get involved in this battle. There we go. Good stuff. All right, General, if you could war cry them. Just really shake them down. There you go. There, there it is. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, you guys need to run. Run from them. All right, we're going to connect with those guys. All right. Beautifully done. Come this way. We're going to need to get ready for an assault from their additional units over here pretty soon. Okay, our equites are going in. Beautiful. This is good. This is good. I'll just walk you guys around. They're tired, but the enemy is like super weak at the moment. We're going to run you out. Both of you guys go against these guys. General's going up against them. Who's fleeing? What coward dares to? Oh, it's these guys here. All right, just chill. Just chill. No more running for you. Just vibe out, my guy. Just vibe the hell out. All right, we need the kill on these guys. There you go. And then go help out our general down here. If our general dies, we're like so screwed. <laughs> Unbelievably screwed. It'd be crazy bad for us. Alright, there we go. Oh, this is where cavalry just reigns supreme. That's the big deal. There you go, nice. Alright. Need all you boys over here now. Alright. You guys, uh, turtle up. Alright. We're getting hit. We gotta, we gotta charge them, and then we gotta bring cavalry in to help in the flank. Yep, that's what we're doing. Bring the cavalry in the flank. Help our boys out. This is important. Important part of the battle. We gotta squeeze them. We gotta squeeze them hard. Give them the war cry. Nice. Yes! Okay. That's a big W right there. All right, you shocked infantry going there. This guy Equite is going up against Hurlers. Good. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. Nice. Good connection. No, don't run. Boys, we've almost got this. Boys. Boys, you just got to... You just gotta hold steady for a little bit here. You just gotta hold steady for a little bit here. Nice. Here, come on, flank, 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 before a general dies. Go, go, go. Nice, beautiful. All right, you guys won over there. Nice. Oh, oh my God. And look at that. They end up giving up and running. Beautiful. That was huge for us, and we charge these guys down so that they can't get away. Oh my god, what a battle, dude. What an unbelievable battle. Whew! We only have 500 forces remaining. Um, they only have 300, though, so, I mean, that was, that was huge. Whew! All right. Really kicked it to the vandals right there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We're going to need to replenish with their soldiers there. They're going to run off. And hopefully they don't hit us at all anymore um, after that. Because, my God, that was brutal. Holy cow. I can't believe they have, like, five armies all ready to go at us. It's just gross. Oh, no. There is zero chance we win this. I'm going to auto-resolve it. That's... There's no even way to possibly do anything. It's just, it'd be the same result. So, let's just go for it. All right, that's tough. That's tough. All right, Vandals definitely delivered some blows to us today. Um, but we've still got our main unit live, and that is what matters the most. There goes another Roman army. I need the Romans to get over here, man. All right, heightened integrity. Your army has contracted dysentery. 
Okay, cool. Very cool. Um, Alright. At least these guys have arrived. So that's good for us. I don't think we're going to charge them. I think that would be ultimately a huge mistake. We need to head back here. Where we are no longer going to be uh, suffering attrition. Okay. Um, let's go melee defense. And melee defense over here too. Yeah. I think that's going to be it. Um, okay, hold on. Go into encampment. Need to recruit units. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Soldiering. Let's get... It's a good life. I mean, these are great units. We'll get them. Replenish um, some of our spearmen, too. Maybe some new cab fighters. units. Sign up, yeah, I think that's the play. Alright, um... Let's start working on our military. We'll go a little bit for that. Oh my god, what a what a brutal brutal turn right there. I might go ahead and hire a mercenary too, just in case they decide to attack us. But yikes. That was criminal. Alright, we're gonna hinder the army over here. At least try to. It'll decrease their movement range, so they might not be able to hit us. Come on. Please. Failure. I am sorry. You are the worst spy. Let me tell you. <laughs> Alright, please, Vandals, leave us alone. Oh, God, they're chasing the Romans. Oh, no. Oh, the Romans suck so much. They used to be so good. They suck so much. God, that's so sad. Alright, at least it distracted the Vandals. So... We're not in super duper trouble here, uh, and we can replenish our units a little bit. Okay, they failed that. Attrition. Yucky. All right. Well, we're going to need to go for some purchases here. Uh, let's go with I don't know. Let's go meat storage. I think. Sure. There's not a huge difference. Um, okay, so the sad thing here is that we're not able to do anything. We're not even able to regain our forces uh, because of this dysentery that's hit us. So that really is kind of a blow. Okay, they've moved their army that was over here out. I don't think there's any additional armies over here. Legio, for some reason, is toying with them at Carthago, which is such a mistake. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, dude, look at that. Your other reinforcing army is getting swept by the Vandals, and you're messing around. Well, we are suffering more attrition, um, which is going to put our campaign on hold here for a little while, I think, until we can get rid of that. Um, however, we can continue to raise forces, which is probably what we're going to do. Yep, basically, I went ahead and uh, recruited some more boys and deleted a few guys who were on the weaker end of things and weren't going to be able to help us out at all. Um, so that's the play at the moment. Let's go check up here again, make sure. All right, cool. There's no one up here, and it looks like our friend here might come down. Oh, my God, that's my dog. Sorry about that. My dog went absolutely nuts. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we're going to recruit more units there. That'll be good. No one's heading this way, which is good for us. Let's just navigate around here a little bit more to just... Okay, no one's over here. So our guy up there should be good. We should be okay here. This is actually a better situation than I thought it would be. I thought we were going to be screwed after those few battles we had. But no, we're doing okay. And attrition hits us again. Incroyable. Okay. Well, while our guy's tootling about over there... I know this is all clear because it's allied land, so I can see it. So we can come over here and just spot for enemy armies. It seems like they do not care to come hit us right now, so that's good. All right, everyone is now finally done with the attrition, so that's really, really nice for us. We've recruited uh, military provision, so I want to get uh, the um, Equite Promoti. 
uh, because I think cavalry is going to be our major strength in this thing. I'm just going to burn a few turns here real quick. I'll let you know if anything happens. Actually, you know what? While we burn some turns, we can move further up. I don't want to waste too much time in this campaign. So we'll start moving further up back towards Hadramuntum uh, while we go ahead and get our men replenished. Uh, we are going to lose a lot of our ranks for our soldiers because we have a lot of replenishing to do. And we'll continue to spy up this way at Carthago. That is where all their armies are. Can we hinder? I want to rank up our spy, so I might just take a few of these missions, even though they cost us a little bit of money. I don't care. I just want to... Okay, another failure. My man sucks at his job, uh, but I do want him to rank up, so that's why I keep doing that. Okay, y'all are encamped over here. We got a full stack again. Good stuff. Okay, and our boy is still sieging down here. Um, I Are you just going to wait until they give up? I mean, there's not that many soldiers. Just take it, bro. Well, I guess they're a little bit weak, too, so there's that. Oh, great. Germanic rebels. As if things couldn't get any worse. Uh, all right, we'll go take care of these Germanic rebels real quick. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Um, they're going to run from us. I mean, maybe we let them simmer for a turn here, so that way the province gets a little bit more replenishment. Um, yeah, you can do that. It's a little... Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. All right. They're, they're starting to go on conquest again. I need the Roman Empire to get it together, man. Because at the moment, man, this is a nightmare. You, you guys need to go ahead and actually, like, build an army, you know, maintain settlements. Like, do, do some good, okay? All right? All right, I am gonna... How far can these guys move? Okay, they can go to there next turn. So they're not gonna be able to hit us here. Because I want to give these guys one more turn to make things happen. Let's go try and hinder this army. That might slow them down a little bit. If we can get that to happen... Success! Success! So, yeah, that depletes where they can move to, which is really nice. All right, and we have an upgrade for my boy. Um, enables misdirect workforce and investigate corruption. Let's go with workforce and corruption, and then we can start moving down this way. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, we'll let that turn again. They want 1300 bucks. Why would I accept that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Screw you, guy. <laughs> okay, uh, so also the Vandals, it turns out, are uh, raiding over here. So they're a lower threat than I would have thought. That's not a big deal to me. All right, we can go ahead and upgrade all of these guys. Beautiful. And we can upgrade these guys now as well, which is very nice. Love to see. All right, no stance. We're going to go after these fellas now because they're just going to grow and grow at this point. And I want to take them on before they grow much farther. They do have uh, catapults, which is crazy. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. We chilling. We chilling, chilling. All right. Uh, nope, no, no, no. I kind of wanted to group these guys. Yeah, there we go. All right. We need to fix. Oh, that doesn't slot them together like in the other games. Okay, that's frustrating. All right, whatever. I want to go after their catapults essentially first. That's the big the big deal. I'm going to put these guys on skirmish cuz we're going to go assault formation. I don't have to worry about like babysitting them. All right, we're going to lose formation our general cuz I don't want him getting sniped by their catapults. Basically, we kill the catapults, we win. That's the big deal. I'm going to be aggressive. Yeah, I'm going to be aggressive here. And I'm going to go in no matter what, baby. All right. Uh, yeah, get all of our archers here and go attack. All right. Here we go. We're being aggressive. Being wicked aggressive here. All right, we're going to have one of you units go around the back so you can hit the catapults there. Come on, come on. Yeah, charge our units. Got to get up here, baby. All right, we're clashing there. And now go up against the catapults. Go, 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 go. All right, and these guys are going to come through here. Nice. We're just going to sandwich everyone, basically. Get your sandwiches together, boys, because we're sandwiching. Beautiful. The Spearman General Unit is the one thing I don't like. I don't want that getting involved, but we're getting involved with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. 
I suppose it do be like that sometimes. Okay. Um, archers, I'm going to push you back and get you to stop firing right now because I don't want that. We're just going to kill more of our guys than we're going to be able to kill of them. I don't really want that at the moment. That would suck. Okay. You know what? We need our general up here. Pronto. There we go. They're busting. They're getting killed. They're getting crushed. There we go. Beautiful, boys. Beautiful. All right. Good stuff. Uh, we'll get our general up here to try and rank him up on some of these loose spearmen, but they might all be gone by the time we get there. Well, there's some archers over here. Yeah, go for them. Go for them, my general. Okay. Very nice battle right there. It shouldn't be too many L's for us. Um, I don't think... Yeah, it's mainly cavalry that took losses, but at least they ranked up a little. So that was not too bad. Yes, I will take that. Yeah, 112 losses. Not a big deal. Um, we're going to go ahead and... I think we're just going to kill them because I don't want to lose rank on our soldiers too much. And that'll expedite that. And let's go kill, kill these guys finally. Uh, and just be... I don't know what they have. They definitely don't have catapults, so we could be defensive. There we go. Just want to mitigate losses a little bit. Yeah, that, that's nice. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'll kill them. There you go. We don't want to lose integrity of our force either. Although we're very high integrity. I like that. I like that for us. All right. Um, public order. Battle movement speed for... Ooh, cavalry would be really nice. This is actually a really good one for us. I like that a lot. Um, replenishment is pretty good, and food. Mm, I'm going to go hard on the cab, though, because Roman cavalry, baby. Oh, it's the big leagues. Okay, so now we can upgrade here. And I think... Hmm... Maybe we go down this route to get the spearmen. It's going to cost us some money, but that's going to be good. Okay, request from Justinian. Mission will be issued soon. Okay, copy that. Uh, there was a Vandal group, but this Roman army all of a sudden appeared and took them out. So it's really nice that we're starting to have more Roman interference here. Um which is a beautiful thing. So we can a little bit more confidently push up this way, especially with our spy just sort of checking it, checking it out. Yeah, go ahead and disrupt the workforce here. Let's deplete their cash. Oh, look at this. Oh, the vandals are screwed. Oh, failure there, but it's good for our spy to get some more rank. All right, keep pushing up and encamp. Okay, good stuff. I'm actually going to disband this merc unit not worth having that and i'll replace them with another cavalry unit honestly i think i want to go heavy in heavy in the cav section of this all right they're going to try to build another vandal army all right oh but the romans came through and just took it god dang so okay the vandalic kingdom's still up this way but they are ready for orders looking weak that is for sure all right this is a very hard campaign difficulty, so I'm actually very pleased with how things are going right now. I'm sure, though, that the Romans are going to hit us with some more challenges pretty soon. I, I, I do not doubt that that is going to happen. Uh, Berbers want $1,900. Everyone's seeing that we're rich and they're trying to bully us. All right, what is this? Um, greetings. I write to you on the recommendation of your good wife, who is a friend of my youth. You're aware, no doubt, that I strictly limit my involvement in politics. Um, my husband, the emperor, is a good man. Okay. The woman is serpent, blah, blah, blah. I know the emperor. What, what do you want me to do? What, what do you want me to do? Oh, save and save a queen? You can earn troops by completing the mission, but the Empress may sabotage our finances. Or get more money. I'll accept the mission because I actually think money isn't like super pow powerful for us at the moment. 
So I'll take it. All right, we're going to trespass because I, I do not care. <laughs> That's one of the beautiful bots of this. Should we go to war with these guys? Try and take it over? I mean, it's the Berbers. They do hate us. Do try my patience with a dull tongue. My torturer has a collection of dullards parts. Maybe not yet. Maybe let's deal with the vandals first. At your command. Play it a little slower. At your service. All right. Sending these guys up. Ooh. As the angels. Might not be anything of the vandals left. They made a lot of enemies. All right. They want us to raid Riedi. Wait. What just happened? I just tried to go look for it. All right, we'll pay this guy off. Um, okay, raid the following region, Riedi. Where is that, bro? Where is that? You gotta, you gotta give me some more info, bruh, 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 bruh. All right. Um, where is? Oh my God, Riedi is all the way up here. It's claimed by the Ostrogothic Kingdom. That's crazy. Um, I mean, we can try to get there. I suppose. Um, we're gonna have to do forced expedition. We're gonna have to boogie our way on up here, cause that is crazy far. Um. What the heck? <laughs> Why do they want us to raid all the way up here? I, I guess they consider Africa somewhat tamed right now? Glad I didn't go to war with the Berbers. God. Okay, um, we can go ahead and... I guess we need to go this route first in order to get that. Um, ooh, this would replace the Equites. Now, we'll, we'll do this path first. I, I do want to do that. Um, and we're sending our forces across the sea. Okay. It is in your eyes. So it looks like the Ostrogoths are going to declare war at us anyway. So we don't have to worry about this raid, like, pissing them off too much. And we are now officially losing money every turn. We have no food. So that's incredible. All right. Well, How may I we've made it to Roma. Heaven be praised. Beautiful. All right. This better pay off. They better give us a whole freaking stack of an army. Okay, they've got armies down there at Tarentum. Not good. Not good. All right, we can finally push in. We cannot follow this order. Beautiful. Your next command. All right, we can't change stance yet. Let's go scope around here. No armies that I can see yet, but they, they can definitely see us. So we got to be careful. Because we are in the heart of the enemy. All right. We got some Roman allies down here, though. So they're going to take care of them first. All right. All right. I'm cool with that. Yeah, okay. The huge Roman army at the top right there. Send that in, boys. Send that in. Okay? <laughs> Help us out, my guy. Vandelic Kingdom got destroyed. Climate change? Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, objective complete. Bonus objectives complete. One out of six. I don't know what that is. We got to increase an Imperium. Oh, and we we survived. Oh, okay. So they gave us two grand. Mission will be issued soon. Okay. Commander. Oh, yeah. It's dark out here. Yes, sir. Um, okay. So we want this. And then we want to go into normal stance. And... No, oh, hold on. So do I have to attack Rome? If I want to get to Reide? Apparently. They're super weak here, though. So, like... I'm okay with trying. How many turns do I have? in this objective 12 okay we're okay we can do this then so we're gonna lay siege here we're not bleeding money as bad now we just need to make sure the ostrogoths do not send an army up here 
in the next turn. Please don't. Okay. And hopefully Rome sends that army. I notice there's an army off to the left. Okay, they're going to Kosa. All right. Well, at least they have an army up here to distract the Ostrogoths. The Ostrogoths seem weak, to be honest. Raid Caesara. Okay. Not even sure where that is. It is cool how this campaign brings you all over the place, though. It is very, very cool. Okay. Um, honestly, this is going to be an auto resolve for me. I just don't want to attack Rome right now with such a... They have such a weak force. It's kind of boring. All right, so we'll reclaim that for Rome. Beautiful. And then... So, when they say raid Riede, do they mean literally raid it like this they do okay beautiful mission succeeded okay so we don't need to actually raid the city um but i mean we could but i want to retrain our soldiers first a little bit here all right do they have any armies in this area no good that's good for us okay uh housing development we should probably try and build something right now it gives us integrity, research rate, and wealth, but eh. Okay, integrity, research rate, well, wait, that's the same thing twice. Oh my god, I built two of the same buildings, didn't I? Didn't I? Um, I mean, should we upgrade to a military camp? No, we don't have enough food for that. Need more food then. Yeah, we probably shouldn't do any upgrades at, in, in that case. Um, although maybe raising... Commander. A force would be good. So did they give us our next army? They did! Yes! Is that That's our only other one. Yeah, yeah, okay. They gave us a huge army over here. Look at this. And we can upgrade all of these guys for seven pity. That's nice. Okay. That's good. Well, we'll send them this way. Where's friggin' Cesaro or whatever the heck it's called? I'm honestly not entirely sure. Okay. We'll have to figure that one out. We'll end our turn there. Ooh. Sardinians want us bad. Okay. Okay. And and so this is where things are going to really fall apart here. Multiple war fronts now. We need to start claiming some areas. Um, reinforcing army arrives. Political repercussions. Attitude. Okay. Oh! Are we no longer at war with the Ostrogoths anymore? Interesting. Okay. I, I don't know why, but it's kind of nice that we slipped into Rome before anything bad could happen there. What we should do, though, is start heading up this way. And then cross over to Alaria there. That's probably the best option for us. So, this objective, Caesarea. I need to look up where that is. I've been looking on the map. I can't find it. But we do have these upgrades, too. Oh. Oh, here we go. Upgrade. Yay. Shield upgrade. Nice. Okay. Good. So... Oh, they have Carthago. Okay, we could just send these guys in here then. That's a little bit closer. I need to figure out where Caesarea is. I can't find it anywhere, bro. Okay, we have a rebuke uh, from Theodora. Uh, minus 5% wealth from buildings. That sucks, but it is what it is. Um, and I've also found out, though, where... Wait, we have another army. Oh! They give us another army. That's huge. Caesarea is over here, by the way. It's like way over here. Um, so that's good to know. I'm going to send these guys out this way. Double time, boys. Let's go. All right. And then you guys need to land ashore here. And we're going to need to stance up some of these guys. Because now that we have so many armies, we're actually kind of bleeding money a little bit. Which is not great. All right. So we're going to continue sending our faction leader up this way. And the reason for doing that is we want to still hit them over here, I think. Uh, but then further south with our new armies, I want to find Caesarea and take it. I think it's over here. Yeah, so that's where we're going to head. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Worthy bride. Um, 
how much influence do we have? 115. Um, we've got decent control-ish. I'll go ahead and give the blessing. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe that was a mistake. We shall find out. All right, the Chosen. Time to show us why you call yourselves that, I suppose. Um, we don't have a lot of time to go make this happen. I mean, five turns? I don't think we can even make it there. Yeah, I literally don't think we can. Let's push up to Carthago. We'll upgrade these guys. Should we siege? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty weak. We'll do a little sieging. Do a little siege in here and see what they'll do. All right, cool. And then you guys, you are our only hope to actually make it to Caesarea. So we'll send you. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. All right, and we've got our spy. We should probably send our spy over this way. Okay, the Watchman. Here's the deal. We're going to send you up. And we'll cross up this way. Because I think that is the best place to cross. And it keeps us in the green monetarily. Okay. Good. Because our other two armies are currently not able to chill. They, they have to be um, either sieging or rowing. They cannot gain us money. Uh-oh. Please don't attack me, Sardinians. I hate... Oh, I hate ship battles. I literally... I'm so bad at them. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to run away. Please get away. Yes, good. Okay. Declare war Berbers. Awesome. Amazing. That means that army is definitely not going to make it to Caesarea. The Moors are coming. Oh, <laughs> the moops. Okay. Auto resolve this. That's an easy auto resolve. Be aggressive. Carthago is ours. That's a big get right there. That's actually pretty nice. That is pretty darn nice. All right. We also have more research. So we can finally get this, which I am going to do. It's going to take a turn to do. It's going to cost us 10 grand, but I think it's worth it. All right. This guy can get some more integrity. And unit experience for recruits sounds good. All right, public order sounds nice. And minus 10% attrition from snow. Ready for Weird battle. flex, but okay. We'll take it. Um, look at this tiny vandal rebel army. I'll go hit them so they don't cause too much trouble. I just don't want them causing too much trouble. Auto resolve that. Be aggressive. Noise. All right, and we will... Ready oh, I auctioned them off. I did not mean to do that. I should not have done that. Oh, that's bad for our integrity. That's bad integrity right there. Okay. We're going to just beeline it away from these ships. I really don't want to have to fight them. That would be a disaster. All right. Uh, ooh, replenishment and integrity. We need more integrity for this army. Hey, get me some integrity. Okay. And then up here, my boy. I need to cross. Oh, the crossing point was back here. Oh, they took that. Okay, fine. We'll go this way. <laughs> That's doofy. Okay, and we'll get our spy across too. Okay, that's the play there. There's another rebel army up there. <sighs> Romans, very, very bad at keeping the settlements I'm getting for them. Oh, there's the Moors. The Moors have arrived, and these guys arrived at our doorstep up here. Look at this. We can upgrade all of these guys. Boom! Huge. That is awesome. Okay. I say we try to deal with the Moors first, potentially. But I'll come over here so maybe we get aid. And we'll chill like that. Because that, that could be messy. All right, we're definitely going to go ahead and start upgrading some of this. We need to start making more income. Oh, yeah, and these guys are here. Nice. Okay, that's actually pretty good for us. Nice. Beautiful. We'll upgrade these guys, too. And then we got to chill on the upgrades for now. Because it's getting expensive. All right. You folks coming in here. Coming in hot. And you as well, my spy. All right, beautiful. All right, we're losing money this turn. It is what it is. Ready for orders. Nothing can be done. Oh, we could... Build a market tent. That's worth doing because it's not going to cost us anything beyond money. And we just get money after that. So that's that's a good one to have. 
Oh, God, these Sardinians are powerful. We need one less army uh, against us. We need, like, one more... One more army to, to give in and stop being mean. Famine. Yikes. That's where things start to fall apart. I'd love to bait these guys into attacking us because their other army is really far away. Oh, no! I ran them! Oh, shoot. Okay, now I can't encamp them. Which is super duper bad. Oh. Things are not happening the way I would like them. Okay. You guys can camp, though. Thank God. Mmm, this is bad, guys. We got famine. Yep, we're gonna start taking attrition. Not good. The oh, is there any... okay. Oh, this is so bad. All right, no stance for you. What are we looking like here? Problem is, the Moors have two huge armies up there. All right, I think we just have to chill here, honestly. I think that's what has to happen. Um, okay. So, the food is not good. The food situation here is really bad. Hmm. Alright, head over here. Is there nothing else? You guys, oh. Need to unstance you. Alright, we'll move for that. Do we run? Ready for battle. That's your command. We're going to continue to take attrition, which is going to make this a fighting force that is not going to be able to do anything. So we're going to get out of here together. If we can. Okay, we can't really. Oh, no. This is so bad. Oh, the... The extra armies are both a blessing and, as it turns out, a bit of a curse. Because we have so many units now, upkeep is getting real expensive. The Moors, the Moors. Not the Moops! Oh, God. Okay, they're just raiding around there. Attrition, attrition. Reputation damage. Oh, did they dispatch another army? We hunger for... They... Didn't. No. Okay. Alright, we're going to Taurus. Just auto-resolve this. Be aggressive. Take it down. Good stuff. Reclaim that baby. Okay. Very good. Just can't upgrade those guys yet. Just cannot do it. Alright, go search over here, spy. They really... They put everything on the line to go to Egypt. So we can camp out here. Okay, these guys are actually going to be regaining. Okay, our attrition is gone. Thank God. Alright, so then we'll park here. We'll park our boys here. And hope the Moors don't hit us with everything. Okay, so you've got stuff. Um, uh, we'll give you freaking... Probably replenishment. Food and replenishment. Yeah, do that. Um, then we can do... Integrity is good. And we'll go... Maybe... Integrity in foreign territory is good too. Alright, dangerously low integrity here. We'll decimate. We'll do it. We'll do it. Screw it. Hopefully they get happy after that. Oh my god, famine. You gotta be kidding me. Political repercussions. Okay. Ready for battle. Well, my brother. I guess we'd better send these guys in. Oh! That's tough. We hunger for battle. That is tough. Um. Advance. Integrity and authority is good for you for sure. Public order, local province, and melee defense. At your command. In camp, in camp, 
So we're anticipating two Moorish units coming and attacking us because I don't think these guys can make it. So 2v2, we're going to be weathered a little bit more by famine. But those are our two least strong armies, so I'm not like super worried about that. Now, you boys up here, we'll go ahead and we'll spend the money to upgrade you because you are our best army. And uh, we're going to get in here. And Siege Corrales. Okay, what can we do here? We'll get four... La uh, yeah, we'll get four ladders. Continue that siege. Um, and they're pretty weak. They're pretty darn weak, dude. That's good for us. Okay. And then... Uh, he do they have an... Is there another territory here? No, I think this is a two-territory island. Okay. So that's good. That's good stuff. Um, we recruited that. We'll get this, and we got to end turn there. You're on the verge of bankruptcy. Should we tax more? No, we shouldn't. We should just let it happen. Yeah, so the Moors brought everything. We're going to try and back up so maybe they can't get some of their armies forward. All right, so we're backed up now. They're going to hit us again. Okay, they're going to be able to get everyone. Really? All right, well, we have to fight this. We are going to attempt a corner camp. That's the play. There, there isn't any other play. This is it. This is all we got. Um, I expect to lose both of these armies. Truth be told. It just kind of is what it is. It just kind of do be like that. Um, okay, so the problem is we have actually... A lot of units at our disposal here. <laughs> this is going to be the largest corner camp ever. I don't even know if corner camping will work like this, but I have no other genuine strategy with which to use. So the idea is corner camp Enemy the living approaches. crud out of this and hope for the best. Hope for the best. That's that's the deal. Um, of course, we're going to utilize our cab a little bit differently. And hope to snag some kills with them. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Everyone's moving out properly. We like that. Let's see what they're doing. They're just going to chill back there for now. All right. Well, we need them to come forward. We will not survive if we have to go to them. That is for sure. <laughs> but luckily, I mean, they are on the attack, so there's that. We could try and goad them into coming with our cavalry. Because I'd like to try and get them to attack before their reinforcements arrive. That would be the goaded move. Okay. Go ahead and shield up these guys. Put these guys on bigger spacing for us. And get them a little closer to the line so our boys don't get too scared. Oh, hello. 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 You know what? Hit them with a few units. And... That should be a dub. Yeah, they're going to run. So now we can dip before their spearmen get in there. Go, go, go. Remember, our units are slightly damaged before this, so... There's that going on. All right, fairly decent strike against some of their units right there. And it looks like they are going to be moving towards us, which is nice. That's kind of what we want here. Okay. Good stuff. And let's try and bait out some of these cavalry units. All right, and turn. And bring these guys around the flanks. All right, now strike at the remaining units there. Try and get a, a wraparound flank with this guy. Men are broken and running with their lives. It is what it is. It's just kind of one of those things, boys. All right. They might break off again. Get in there, boys. Join the fray. All right, that's just a mass of horses, isn't it? <laughs> All right, hopefully we get some kills there. 
They didn't really do the flank I really wanted them to, but it is what it is. The spearmen are going to come in. I'll wait to break off. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, try and break them. Okay, they're kind of hesitating, which is actually really good for us. Hesitate, hesitate. Yes, they're breaking. Run, run before those spearmen come in. Good, good. Very nice hits right there. We did lose a bit, but like, not as much as they lost, that's for sure. Get out of there, boys. Get, go on, get. All right, we'll shift over this way. We might be able to hammer this unit from two sides and just decimate them, even though they are a spear unit. I think it is possible because just a solid flank of two large cavalry units would probably crush them. So we can give it a try. Give it a try. Go into diamond formation. All right, so we're gonna charge from the front with those guys, but then we quickly charge in the back with the rest of our units. The key part is very quickly. All right, get in there and try and go after them too. All right, they're heading up here. That's fine. Okay, those guys are gonna break. You know what? Go after their archers. Screw it. If they're going to tease us with their archers, we go after their archers. See if it works, though. All right. That's an entire spear unit down. That's uh, pretty big for us. All right. They're going to they're gonna route those archers pretty bad, so we got to get out of there. All right. Are our slingers slinging? Get up there and sling, boys. Get up there and sling, boys. We need the slingers to do the slinging. All right. They will do the slinging. That's good. All right. Let's go against this heavy melee cavalry now. The rest of our riders over here. Luckily, we have buttloads of slingers. Buttloads. They should all be slinging. Nice. Okay, they are clashing with us a little bit over here. We need to reinforce these lines against this light shock cavalry. Okay, but don't break lines. Do not break the line. No, sir. We do not break the line. We simply re-emerge. Okay, good stuff. And it looks like our slingers are getting some decent kills here. Ooh, that's a general unit. All right. That might be the end of our cavalry there, I'll be honest. <laughs> that might be Jover for our cavalry. We'll see. If they kill the general unit, though, that's huge. But that is going to be a tough fight for sure. All right. We're holding out nicely here so far. Uh, we'll, we'll hold off on the whip crack. Go over there, do that. Go over there, do that. Okay. Well, it's not really going to do all that much, but it is what it is. Okay. Definitely want to reinforce these lines a little bit here. They're not going to do that? Okay, they're not going to move if they're in Testudo. But you know what? I'd rather have them in Testudo, so that's okay. That's okay. Okay, who's running? Is it our Cav? It's definitely our Cav. Yes, sir. Oh, because the Spearmint joined them. Spear unit. Yeah. We'll send down the people who rallied, but that's about it. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. That's all right. That is a okay. It is what it is, as they say. Hopefully, this at the very least affects the Moors pretty good. Because I, I, I still think we're sadly probably going to lose. But it would be really nice if we could get like some devastating effects on the Moors. Really hurt them. Really, really get their, uh, their boys to lose some men. Oh, enemy general died. 
That's huge. That's really, really big. All right. You folks are going to need to rally over here. All right. It's good to have a little bit of living calf. It's good to have a little bit of living calf. We'll try and kind of get them back to our lines a little bit. All right. Some of our slingers have run out of ammunition. That's a good thing. You know what? It means that they really pulled out all the stops. I appreciate that, boys. Okay. We have killed um, almost 2,400 of them. They've killed about 1,000 of us. So this corner camp is working. I think what helped us pretty, pretty well is the fact that we did um, do pretty good stuff with our cab. I'm going to run this cab in there just like as almost a suicide to try and break that line. I'm just walking these guys. You know, you guys can just chill right right here. Just chill. They're so tired. They're so broken. They're not a worthy unit anymore. All right. Actually, you know what? Run this cab into the archers. Unprotected archers is like prime location for us. All right. That'll be good. All right, boys, don't lose faith, all right? Do not lose faith. We can do this, baby. We can do this for sure. I'm not too worried. They're losing an exceptional number of soldiers. It is very okay. We are doing very okay. Are these guys faster than us? We're both exhausted, so I don't know. I do not know. Trying to recover these guys a little bit. It's not really working. Come on, get into those archers. There's another one of their chieftains. Disgusting. Dealing with filth. Alright, so they've used all their ammunition. Let's hit the charge on these guys in the back. Don't spend too much time rerouting, buddy. You know what? Get out of there. Because we need speed. We need speed. We gotta escape these guys. Go, buddy, go. And if we have a war cry, we should use it now. Demoralize, and then this rear flank could be big. Come on. Nice. All right, so we expect to lose this cav unit. Like, for sure, for sure. But that was a pretty big charge for him. They're going to get some kills. They'll relieve these guys a little bit. And on top of all that, we might do some morale damage to them. So it's kind of all good. Right, we'll go ahead and push you guys up. Who's breaking off? Oh, it's the cab unit. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. Ooh. These fellas, though, we do not want to have break. Okay, do we have the fatigue whip? Yes, we do. Yes, sir, we do. Uh, we'll do it down mid, because these guys are actually suffering a good bit now. <laughs> We're going to edge these guys forward a little bit more, too. Try and kind of reinforce these boys. You know? Don't you know? Defensive testuto. All right, and these guys are still whacking on forward. We'll get a flank charge on these guys. Uh, they should be... Okay, they're fresh. Good. Good. All right, we're breaking more of their units. This is a shameful display. Okay, they've still got 4,600. We've got 4,000. That's not bad. All right. I shall take that. It is good. All right. Pop a morale dumpy on them. Good. This will be a nice flank charge here. This will be very nice. All right, now... They do have a general unit right here. If we could get our remaining slingers to sling into that general. Who broke? Oh, these guys over here. Cowards! That's all right. We already sort of reboosted their defenses there, and we'll do it a second time. It's a nice part of having back lines. All right, there we go. That's a good charge into the backs of these spearmen. That'll lower their morale a good bit there. A very good bit. And then we hit them with the boop. That's going to make them, make them pissed. All right, they're trying to get away, which is actually advantageous for our cab here. 
Nice, good stuff. Let's flank into the sides of these guys while they kind of break off from our boys. All right, that's a good side flank. We love it when we attack in the flank, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all of the juice. All right, we'll push these guys forward a little bit more. Y'all are all turtled up still, but you're seriously down in terms of all the good stuff. All right, you guys go like this. We'll let these units be very close to our general. All right, there goes the last cavalry unit. They did a great job. 200 kills, nothing to scoff at, nothing to sneeze at. Good job. All right, they're down to 4,600 soldiers. We have 3,700. I think they got the last of their reinforcements is why they kind of jumped up in terms of numbers just a smidge there. All right, we better go ahead and get you guys forward here. Go, 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 go. Join the lines. They might already be in combat, so they might not be able to retest Dudo. Yeah, they cannot retest Dudo, which sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, all right, we got a, we got a loss of soldiers over this way. It is what it is. They got more archers coming in. I really don't like that. That does kind of suck for us, but it is what it is. All right, we'll send you guys up here now. Now that you're fresh again. All right, and we'll hit these guys with the boom. The oh my god. And then we'll hit you guys with the boop. Oh my god. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to send these guys over this way. That is what we're going to do. All right. We're going to run a flank on the enemy over here. This is what we currently are in need of. Good. Yep, get into the flanks of these guys. And then we replenish these folk. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, that's a nice flank right there. Uh, their other armies way back there are not going to be able to reach over here in time to stop that from happening. Okay. Good. Oh, boy. Oh, did this general die? Oh, no. He's still, he's still good, I think. What are you doing? What? No. What? Why did you do that? Oh, bunch of idiots. All right, keep pushing. Keep pushing. I want to route some of these additional units here before um, their reinforcements, like, get here, get here. All right. Please don't be weird again, boys. All right. Can you guys hit them? You're the only slingers with any ammunition. <laughs> Incroyable. All right. This flank was real nice. We are getting hit pretty heavy by their stuff. Uh, and they got... Some cavalry gonna go up against us here. Go, Spearman, go. Nice. Nice. Keep pushing in there. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay. All right. They have 4,100 soldiers. We have 3,300 soldiers. Not bad numbers for us. Not bad numbers. Get in there, boys. I'll saw some additional units in the flank there. That could be kind of good. And then I'll saw some more units into the side here. Nice! Good work, boys. Good break. Good break. Good break. Good break. We'll reform another line over here to continue that flank. Go, go, go. Yep, keep side cutting them. I'll, if I can, pop a... Yes, sir. A war cry here. That will really demoralize them. All right. And use the whip there. All right. Good stuff, boys. Way to go. Way to go. Look at this. Look at this. Keep side cutting into them. All right. We don't want to overextend too much, but it might be a good idea to chase with some of those guys. Disrupt some of their uh, archers and stuff like that a little bit. It's actually kind of good. All right. Nope. The cavalry is going to come for us. All right, blob up, blob up, blob up. If possible. Nice-ish. <laughs> they kind of got the blob going. A little bit. A little bit of blobbing went down. All right, we'll bring you guys forward again. Good stuff, boys. All right. Really demoralize these fellas. All right, and we're going to start 
doing a similar thing that we did on the other side over here with a few of our extra units. Who threw down? Who threw down their weapons? Oh, those guys there. Idiots. Look at this. Desert Chieftain. Face the wrath of my single unit there. <laughs> probably, probably not the best use of unarmed slingers, but uh, it is what it is. All right. Watch the flank, boys. Okay. We overextended a little bit of our flanking units, but it's not like the worst thing ever. It, it is decently bad, but it's not the worst. No! They killed one of our generals. Oh, oh no. That will break a lot of our stuff. Okay, that, that is very not good. Please don't everyone rout. Oh, their stupid archers got to us. Guys, guys, I need y'all to hold out a little bit. No, don't break, don't break, don't break. Stop. Oh, please. Boys, boys, boys. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. All right. How about you charge in there? I think this is the guy that died. Lazarus of Rhodes. That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. We'll try another flank on these guys. That really bites that we um, ended up losing that. Because that, that impacts us a lot. You just notice how like everyone ended up running in that moment. Like everyone. That was so bad. If we lose our other general, we're super screwed, but yeah. Okay, we're at least like somewhat doing this over here. We're getting them to route a little bit. That's good. Alright, we're gonna run these guys out here. Run a flank on them. How many more units could they possibly have come in? Like at this point, that's crazy. Alright, we need to push now. We need to push as they route. This is the only time we'll we'll be able to maybe do something here. Okay. Oh, this might be the general that's still alive, actually. Because he's got the star above him. I think that means he's still alive. We should probably chill with him. Don't break. Don't break, boys. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Enemy is breaking. Enemy is breaking. All right. War cry. Really get them to break down. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. That's big. That is a big, 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 big break for them. All right. Nice. Keep applying the pressure, boys. Keep on applying the pressure. All right. We're just kind of mobbing. A little bit here. Dude, the tide of battle was never with us. What are you talking about? Oh, they charged their horses into us. Go hard against them, boys. Go hard. Oh, we gotta watch that. We gotta watch this flank. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Good stuff, boys. Keep pressuring. Keep pressuring. We can do this. Come on, boys. Send a few this way. Alright, General. I need you to charge down some of their archers. <sighs> Don't flee. Do not flee. We need y'all to stay true, okay? We need you guys to vibe out and go hard. We're kind of doing it, though. Unless they have, like, another army on the horizon, which, I mean, maybe. They just don't know with these guys. They they do have some spearmen coming in. I don't know. I do not know. All right, get out there. We need to chase down pretty much all these guys. Okay, 
General's over here fighting for his life. But we've got spearmen coming in. Come on. Don't break, boys. Don't break. Alright, we need to splinter off some units to go this way instead. Oh, uh, no. Our general fleed. That's it. It's Jover. We could have won that if they didn't flee. We could have won this. Oh, my God. Wow, they had 11,000 soldiers on the battlefield. They brought in 11,000 soldiers. Wow, look at these numbers. We lost 3,600 soldiers. They lost 6,100. They have 4,900 troops remaining. If that isn't a close victory, I don't know what is. That was actually incredible. Holy cow. I can't, I can't believe we did that. That is nuts. We, we almost stopped them. We really, really almost stopped them. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Wow. I am actually really impressed by us. All right. So this army at the very end, though, was completely intact. Let's see if they chase further. Okay. One of our armies is dead. The other lives on. Please don't chase them. Okay. They're going to let one of our armies live. Okay. We can only hire that general. Okay. Damn. Bankrupt. Attrition. Mutiny imminent. Incredible. Incredible. Alright. So we're just gonna camp out right here. We've got a big Roman army who will come to our aid. That's good. That is good. They're trying to get reinforcements back here, but it's not gonna be in time. This is such an easy battle. Oh, they did get there in time, but it doesn't matter. Just balance, force it. Get the kill on these guys. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, easy peasy. That is Corallus ours. Reclaim it. Good stuff. And now stance up like that. I think we actually need to get rid, because I don't want to actually be bankrupt right now. I think what we do is we get rid of some of the weakest units that we have here. If I just get rid of the two weakest, will that put us in the in the green? No. This is not even helping our income. How is it not helping our income? I actually don't understand that. Um, we can't repair any of this stuff. I think we just got to deal. Oh, well. Can increase the taxes. But I think this is close to mutiny. Yeah, so we need to decimate. Uh, and they're already pretty decimated, so it doesn't matter too much. But that's all we can do right now. Here are the Moors. They're going to come for us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and retreat. What? <laughs> the big Roman army right there isn't able to help us? What? What? <laughs> okay. Um. Probably gonna be an L. I'll try corner camping. Yeah, this is gonna be a fat L. So I'll just do this on my own real quick. Um, same strategy as before. Just attempt to kill as many as possible. All right, we killed about 500 of them, but they ended up getting us. <sighs> Dang. All right, so. Our two reinforcements got taken out by the moops. Um, and I, I ended up quitting the battle before the Romans could get involved because I wanted them to at least try and hold that settlement if possible. Um, all right. Climate change part two. We're, we're out of the super duper dark. Okay. These guys are already pissed off, um, but we'll let them stew for a little bit. That's probably a good idea. Um, with less soldiers, our force is better off because we're no longer broke and we've actually got some food. I'm going to keep it this way for a while <laughs> because we cannot deal with another um, massive force like that. I think I think that was just overexpansion. It really ended up crippling us more than it was helping us. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. The Berbers are messing around over here. The Romans are doing a god-awful job of keeping everything. 
Like, why is this army just chilling out in the middle of the open instead of... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they do be dumb, though. They do be very, very dumb. Okay, they have not expanded yet. So we got another turn before that happens. We'll drop our spy around there. Um, We chilling. We chilling. I mean, right now, command map-wise... Here's the Roman Empire. We do have Italy, which is amazing. Or sorry, Rome, which is amazing. I am sure the Roman Empire is very pleased about that. Uh, we've gotten Sardinia and Corsica, which is huge. Uh, and then we still hold part of Africa. We hold two major cities in Africa, which is awesome. Um, but obviously we don't hold um, enough to really keep the enemy at bay at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Well, our research is still going. What, what's our objective currently? Do we have one? No, we don't. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We just need to survive at the moment, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we're just in survival mode, I suppose, right now. Romans are being idiots. Let's burn a turn. What is this? Declare war? Okay. All right. All right, Ostrogoths. All right. <laughs> At least we're over there. I think it's more important to help against the Ostrogoths right now than Africa because there's so much more wealth to be had um, holding Rome in a more concentrated area than just sporadic settlements south. So it kind of makes more sense. And the Moors. Hey, they're dealing with the rebel armies. Hey. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. All right. So come out of encampment here. We gotta kill these guys. And then... Yeah, these guys are really, really easy. Be super aggressive. Take out their catapults. Uh, and then with these guys dead, we're gonna move over to Ostrogoth area. Um, I will replenish. We don't have crazy ranks or anything like that. And now we're gonna head towards Roma. Alright, cool. And we'll get the spy going that way too. And you need to camp. We need to camp pretty much every turn in order to gain any amount of money. All right. We've got ourselves uh, another research point we can spend. Um, we're not really building stuff at the moment. I guess we could replace our archers. That's probably the next best thing to do right there. Okay. All right. No stance, move up. And we'll park it right here again. And we're finally rebuilding our treasury a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so I am going to end the episode here, boys. Thank you so much for watching if you stuck around till the end. I appreciate it. Let me know what we should do because I want you guys to be interactive in this campaign if possible and, and give me advice, ideas. Oh my god, Roman rebels. You got to be kidding me, Rome. You got to be kidding me. What are you doing? Oh, they're so dumb. They do have stacks and stacks over there. Send some over to Rome. That's such a big place to keep. Okay. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.